Blessings, a community of spouses. Listen, Coach T with you today. And I think we have come to our final round. I think we have come to our final round. I am just going to share with you the last part of your spouse's walk towards salvation. Your spouse's walk towards salvation. I started out with... Um, asking God to first give you the freedom, give you the freedom to accept and be okay with your spouse's decision, help you to continue to do you, help you to continue to work on your assignments, to continue to do whatever it is that God have um, is having you to do in this, in, in this season and in this hour while your spouse is away, to work on you, to focus on what God have you to do. That was first. Um, the second thing was... Um, when your spouse do decide to come, if they peep in and they decide to come back home, treat them like a guest. Treat them like a guest. You still play your role as husband. You still play your role as wife. You still do your part. You still keep the the up um bringing up of of the of the home and making sure that they 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 feel like home when they come here. Make sure they feel welcome. You keep your mouth closed. You separate yourself from them. Um, you give them space and allow them the freedom to do what it is they have to do to get to the place they need to get to so that God can do his part, so that God can do his part. Listen, spouses, if we're trying to do anything in our own strength without the guidance or counsel of the Lord, without allowing the Holy Spirit to lead us, you are doing things in vain. You are doing things in vain. Therefore, allowing whatever time frame that you are um, um, putting into into it is it's basically a waste. It's basically a waste. So you want to make sure that you are um, in alignment with, with God's word and you have heard from God specifically on what it is that he would have you to do concerning your marital covenant, concerning your spouse, concerning your prodigal, your wayward spouse, your spouse who has disconnected from the home, your spouse who came home but not sure, you know, they they want to go back out, they, you know, coming back and forth, whatever. You make sure that you have heard from God specifically on what it is that you need to do. And so today, today, I want to mention to you two things. I want to mention to you two things. The first one is to do not leave your post. I know you probably have heard me share this before and um, on, on previous videos, but this is, this is your spouse being away from the home and your spouse being disconnected from the marital covenant. That means your position is in prayer. Your position is in prayer. Your stance remains in prayer. You want to continue to lift your spouse up as much as you can, as often as you can. But I want to just emphasize, once you have prayed for your spouse, once you have lifted them up, once you have covered them, once you, once you have done your warfare, and once you have did your fasting, once you have, um, God has given you a specific time frame to, to warfare for them, to pray for them, to lift them up, to keep, to keep them covered. Listen, Go on with your life. Go on with your life. But you have to be on God. You have to be on guard. And in order for you to be on guard, you have to be in the presence of the Lord. So do not leave your post. Do not leave your post. And then the second thing is, the second thing is, wait for the call. Wait for the call. Now it is all about your faith walk. Marriage is a faith walk. It is about your faith walk. After you have accepted their decision, after you have done your part and treat them like a guest, after you have continued to pray and warfare for their on their behalf, now you wait for your call. You wait for the call. You wait for the call. The call can be God giving you more instructions. The call could be maybe your spouse uh, calling. The call can be um, something that you need to do next. Wait for the call. Wait for whatever it is that God wants you to do next. But as you wait, you stand in faith. You wait, you stand in faith. You wait, you stand in faith. And you give God the, the, the glory and you give God the praises for the things that he's going to do. Listen, you have not, you will not get to this point and this far and um, come to this place without not knowing what to do next. God is faithful. God is faithful. And he will bring to your attention whatever it is that you need to do next concerning your marriage coming. Whether it's a dream, whether it's a sign, whether it's whatever. God will make himself known. Your presence 
your 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 um um post and you being in in God's presence will help you to know what it is that you would do next. Listen, no one can tell you what to do next concerning your marital covenant on what God has already told you. That may be confusing. Let me say it again. Don't allow no one to tell you or to talk you out of what God has already specifically said to you concerning your marital covenant. If God has spoken and he has said something and you've got, you get to a place where you're stuck and you get to a place where you don't know what you're supposed to do or you get to a place where you don't know, you know where you are, you need to go in prayer. You need to start praying. You need to start fasting. You need to start asking God what it is I'm supposed to do now, what it is that you would have me to do now, and then be okay with whatever it is he's saying until the next instruction until the next instruction listen spouses listen i hope this message has been a blessing to you i hope that you find some comfort in these three messages just knowing that marriage restoration is in route marriage restoration for your household is in route blessings